The O-ring fits on the piston, forming a sill between it and the cylinder. Over time, the O-ring will wear, often breaking in half. When this occurs, the sill between the cylinder and the piston will be lost, and the gun won't fire. Replacing the O-ring is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. I'll begin by removing the head from the nail gun. Next, I'll remove the cylinder and the piston. If the bumper comes out of the gun, you can just place it right back inside. With the driver unit removed, now I can install the new O-ring. I'll remove the old O-ring from the piston. and install the new one. Now I can go ahead and reassemble the driver unit to the cylinder. I'll insert the driver unit into the cylinder and pull it through so most of the driver is extending out past the cylinder. This makes it easier to reinstall the driver. I'll insert the driver back into the nail gun housing, making sure that the side of the driver with the grooves is facing towards the back of the gun. Then I'll press the cylinder back into the housing. You'll notice that the mounting for the cylinder is offset. I want to align the cylinder so the larger portion of the mounting is facing towards the rear of the gun. I also line up these tabs with the screw holes in the housing. Once everything's aligned, I press the cylinder into the housing. And now I can reinstall the head assembly. And I'll secure it to the housing with the screws. And that's all it takes to replace the piston o-ring in your nail gun.